I am Burçin Yazgı Walsh and I am working as part of the Building City Dashboard projects and in the project I am mostly working on the spatial data analysis and modeling and today I will be talking about the geodemographic studies that we were applying to Dublin, Cork and Ireland. The geodemographic approach is a tool for discovering the socio-economic and demographic pattern of geographical areas and it's an effective way of summarizing and also communicating with uh, several many different uh, data layers. So it's mostly the census data used for these sorts of studies and in Dublin case, uh, Ireland's 2016 census data is used and there are 33 different variables uh, coming from 10 different teams of this data set and you can see the detail list here in the plot. By help of an, uh, like a clustering algorithm, the geographical areas are grouped based on the similarities found in the data set. And in Dublin, small area was the spatial unit of the study. And as a result of this analysis, which you can follow here in the map, that there are uh, all the small areas coming from four different county borders and they are grouped, categorized under different groups. There are seven of them and each of them is represented by a different color on the map. Uh, the map is useful because you can follow the sp spatial distribution of these um, groups and also you can see that for example for some of the groups which is like in brown here which is group 7 is mostly concentrated in Dublin city borders so what actually these groups mean we can check more in detail and start with group 7 and actually the plot is a useful tool because then you can learn more about each of the, the groups and the characteristics and the highly valued variables will be the strong features uh, that will di differentiate this group from the others and in for example the group 7 case we can say that the, the, this group is mostly represented by people who are like single or if they are uh, like they could be young like families and they wouldn't have any kids and they would be mostly the age between the 25 to 44 and they would have like high level of like education and they would mostly be living in flats that are rented privately. So these characteristics are important because we also get the locational information related to these varying characteristics and they could be valuable for policy-based development and, and decision support for experts as well as citizens. Also, these varying characteristics and their changing locations will be an important input for uh, local strategic plans or public service allocations for particular areas, uh, including like health, education or transportation facilities. It's also um, a tool that you can see actually which neighborhoods are similar to each other and what makes them similar to each other. And actually this aspect of geodemographics is also used for um, market research studies as well. Heat map is another version of a, like a plot for again uh, figuring out the differentiation between the groups as well as the variables. So you can see each differentiation for the each variable regarding to their groups or actually you can follow what makes group one and the color codes will be the darker colors it will be the blue uh, which are the highest again values for that group and the darker red will be the the lowest values for that for that variable for the group also if you want to get more detailed information regarding to the selection of the variables or the clustering algorithm as well as the analysis step you can visit the overview link here and there will be more details about how the analysis is done. All these studies are available online for further information through our PUPS platform.